And now let's look at another crisis affecting the world, the rise in sea levels, specifically how there's a doomsday glacier in Antarctica that's a ticking time bomb. The Twaits Glacier is roughly the size of the UK. It is melting at a rapid pace. Scientists now have a better idea why. The doomsday glacier is already responsible for 4% of the global rise in sea levels. 4%. If it completely collapses, sea levels could rise by almost a meter. And of course, some cities like London, New York and Mumbai will be affected more than others. Our next report examines the latest findings. This is the Thwaites Glacier in Antarctica. Its width is around 120 kilometers, making it the world's widest glacier. But it's more famous for its nickname, the Doomsday Glacier. It's called that because it's melting, and melting fast. If it collapses, it could wreak havoc around the world. First, a primer on glaciers. They're slow-moving rivers of ice. They're mostly located in mountain ranges and cold places like Antarctica, Iceland and Greenland. Glaciers are said to move slowly because though the ice melts, fresh snow falls on glaciers and freezes. When not enough snow replaces what's lost, the glacier is said to be retreating. The Thwaites Glacier is located in western Antarctica. It's about the size of the UK. It's a retreating glacier, parts of which keep breaking and falling into the Antarctic Ocean. It alone has contributed to 4% of the global rise in sea levels. And scientists are concerned about the speed at which it's collapsing. The glacier is cracking and scientists want to know why. They want to make models to predict how fast it will collapse. So a research team drilled a hole in the glacier and sent a robot to see what's happening beneath the ice. They say there's both good news and bad news. When we went to Thwaites and observed underneath the ice shelf, we found this immensely warm water. It was about a degree and a half above freezing. And that should drive a relatively high melt rate. Um, but what we also observed was this layer of fresh water right at the ice base that creates a very strong density gradient. And that density gradient stops the heat from getting from the ocean into the ice. What this means is that the glacier is partially insulated from warm water. It's not melting as fast as previously thought. Sounds like good news, right? Sadly, that isn't the case. While the whole glacier isn't melting too fast, it's still breaking off. Here's why. The final point where the glacier rests on bedrock, called the grounding line, is retreating as warmer ocean water melts underneath the ice shelf. It's moved 14 kilometers since 1992. Ice that was on land has melted, or is now floating on water, and so raising sea levels. Simply put, as the ice retreats, it stops resting on land and starts floating on water. This displaces the water and causes sea levels to rise. It also puts a strain on the glacier, which then cracks and eventually breaks off, again leading to a rise in sea levels. If it collapses completely, sea levels may rise by an additional metre. Even though this is happening in Antarctica, it affects everyone. All the oceans are connected. If sea levels rise, all of our coasts and coastal cities are at risk. Sea levels are already rising. Water levels were going up by 4.5 millimetres every year between 2013 and 2022. That's about three times the annual rise in the last century. As this continues, coastal cities will drown. Even if they manage to keep the sea out using walls, Every time there's a storm, the sea will surge in. London, New York, Mumbai, Shanghai, Bangkok, Cairo, all these major cities are at risk. If the Thwaites Glacier falls, all these cities may fall with it. That's why it's called the Doomsday Glacier. <laughs>